What's going on, family? How you guys doing? Hope you guys are staying blessed out there. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk, and I'm back with another video for you guys, man. Always scrolling the net, trying to see what's going on with this, uh, with this sports world and just the world in general, bro. What I feel is interesting to talk about, man. But you know, we really trying to stay focused on this sports stuff, bro. Recently, uh, found some some interesting, man. Uh, Tracy McGrady was having a, a interview with GQ, right? And the interviewer actually asked him an interesting question, bro. Excuse me. He said, uh, he actually said that he feels like a lot of these NBA players today just play for money. Uh, and Tracy McGrady uh, went on to answer and, sa and said that he definitely 100% agrees with him. Now, let me, let me try to uh, give my two cents on this. Uh, I know what Tracy McGrady was saying. He was saying a lot of people, you know, they stink up the joint for like two, three years, whatever, four years. And then once it's, the, it's their contract, contract year coming up, they start balling out of control. And, you know, uh, their stats go up, their, their points go up, rebounds, assists. They start playing better defense. Once they get that bag, they kind of don't give a shit anymore. I get that. I, I get that part. But let, let me give my two cents. Uh, of course they do it for the money. Of course they do it for the money. You know what I'm saying? Like we all do what we do for the money. Uh, now I feel like where the problem uh, with this is, is we feel like um, they don't have that that passion anymore how they did back in the days. They don't have that grit how they did back in the days. They don't care. I feel a lot of players, I'm not talking about every player, a lot of players don't care about uh, legacy, how they did back in the days. Like leaving it all leaving it all out there on the court, bro. You know, willing to, with the blood, sweat, and tears, bro. Like I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys, man. I love basketball. I still love, I still love to watch basketball. I still follow basketball. But you know, being a nerd of the sport, bro, like, I'm sorry, man. Like, I like watching players like Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, especially my all-time favorite, Kobe Bryant, bro. Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Watching highlights of Larry Bird, Magic, Kareem. You know, even even guys like Alonzo Mourning, Dwayne Wade, uh, even Tracy McGrady, man. And the list goes on. Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton, Karl Malone. You know, these guys played with a different flair, a different energy. And I feel like the fans really appreciated that shit. Yeah, did they do it for the money? Of course they did it for the money, bro. Of course they did. That This is their job. They get paid to do this. But but it's like we, we as fans felt like, you know, these guys and, uh, you know, the eras before, before now, like guys really gave it like blood, sweat, and tears, bro. Because a lot of times I feel like now, like the NBA has turned into a carnival, bro. I say it a lot, man, and it kills me. I do like basketball how it used to be, bro. I do. I do like the aggression that dudes played with. I do feel like dudes cared more. I do. I do feel that way. Dudes cared more. It wasn't just running up and down and shooting threes. People were actually allowed to play defense. People were hand-checking. You know, people were showing more passion. The f I felt like the fans were, were were more in it. Like 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 you were able to just feel like you were part of the team, bro. Like they were playing for you. They were playing for their city, which I swear I feel like today it just doesn't feel that way, man. It doesn't feel that way. So like T Mac saying like yeah they do play for the money I I I feel like that's what he was really trying to say because like yeah bro they played for the money back then too you know what I'm saying like you could be you could be a you could be a real estate agent right and uh, you could really love being a, a a realtor bro and you know try to be the best realtor you can and and go above and beyond and and be way better than all these dudes out there and 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 bust your ass but. Uh, you know, put your blood, sweat, and tears into it, but you're going to tell me that you ain't doing it for the paper? You know what I mean? And, and it goes for anything that we do, bro. Of course, of course, people, people do, you know, we work for money, bro. 
Everybody's trying to get that bag, bro. But honestly, that's what I feel like he really meant to say, bro. And for those dudes that do do that, bro, like, I'm not here to name drop, bro. Like, they stink up the joint. And when it's contract contract year and, you know, they bust their ass and, and try to, you know, try their best and get that bag and start stinking up the joint again, that's garbage, bro. That's garbage, you know. You know, yeah, they're cheating themselves and they're cheating the fans, bro. They're cheating the fans because without the fans, none of this shit exists, bro. None of it exists, bro. None of it. And like this whole, like, even like, you know, I'm not going to get too much into it. The whole WNBA controversy and shit, like about the pay and stuff, you know, uh, people got to support the product, man. But without getting too much into that, like, if you don't have people supporting the product. You're not going to get the money that, you know, you, you, you're, you know, desiring to get, you know what I mean? So the fans play, play a big, big role, bro. And when, when players do uh, play like that, they're cheating themselves and the fans, man. You know what I mean? But, but you know, on that note, I feel like the players back in the days, the old school players, bro, even players not that long ago, like, I feel like they did show more passion. They did show more grit. They did, they, they, it, it did seem to me like they do care a little bit more, bro. They weren't like so buddy-buddy and hugging and kissing all the time and shit. Like they want to go out there and break your neck, bro. You know, and, and I'm a better hooper than you, and I'm a, you ain't, like, you ain't coming in here, I'm gonna lay your ass down, bro, like, yeah, I ain't fucking around with you after the game, like, you know, it's all good, bro, but while we're playing, bro, nah, bro, you ain't, I ain't playing with you, I ain't playing with the opposition, and I feel like that's also, like, what he was trying to say, man, and I do miss, miss, miss that old school basketball, bro, and, um, yeah, I feel for the most part back then they did show, it did feel like to me they cared more. I don't know if they, it was because they showed more passion, you know, they they seemed, you know, they, they, I don't know, man. It just, it felt different back then, man. It felt different when I was a little kid watching basketball growing up. It felt different watching Kobe, Shaq. It felt different watching D-Wade, Alonzo Mourning. It felt different. You know, Carl Malone, John Stockton. It just felt different. All the stories my father used to tell me with Bird, Magic, and these guys, and Lambeer, and Isaiah Thomas. And it's definitely not the same no more. And, you know, we could all agree to that. But on that note, man, that, that's my two cents on it. Uh, we all do what we do to get the paper. But uh, no matter what it is we do, we should never cheat ourselves. We should never cheat the people that support us. And we should definitely give it our all and be the best we can be at whatever it is we're doing, bro. Whether you're a professional athlete, a contractor, bro, you work on cars, you're an entrepreneur, doesn't matter what it is, bro. You know, you're a limo driver, whatever. We should always never cheat ourselves, never cheat our supporters and give it our all in, in anything we do in life. And that's when we'll reach our, reach our highest potential, bro. On that note, it's your boy Armin. Another video, and we out of here until the next one. Blessings.